The pollution regulation limits that are facing the diesel engine are quite difficult to reach and industry recognizes this. From the beginning it wasn't clear how we would be able to reach these targets and so we tried a number of different approaches in parallel as an industry, as a community. One of these approaches of promise is low temperature combustion. This one is appealing because it can use more standard diesel engine hardware without exhaust after treatment devices. Uh, although all exhaust after treatment can be useful and helpful, there are some uncertainties about long-term viability and expense of those devices. And so engine manufacturers were looking for other ways to achieve low pollutant emissions while maintaining high efficiency. And low temperature combustion is one way to do that. Sandia National Laboratories is well positioned for this type of research because we developed a number of tools for studying technological aspects related to national security issues. And those tools we found could be applied to combustion. So low temperature combustion is a way to reduce the temperatures so that we don't have those hot regions that make one of the pollutants, nitrogen oxides. And at the same time, it provides extra time for the fuel to mix with the air so that we don't have regions with too much fuel that end up making smoke. And in that way, low temperature combustion solves both of those problems. The part that's missing is a scientific understanding. And that's what our tools, our optical diagnostic tools at the Combustion Research Facility of Sandia National Laboratories can provide.